Our next finalist joins us from the Gambia. He goes by the name of Mama Jan. Judges, let's give Mama Jan a round of applause. Good afternoon, um, gentlemen and men. My name is uh, Mama Jan Jalo. I came from the Gambia, southern part of the Gambia. Uh, the name of my business is Jalo Trading Vegetable Farm. I produce fruit and vegetable and sell it to my community. Our purpose to solve Africa's food insecurity problem through, uh, through producing organic fruits and vegetables through youth's manpower. Why that purpose? Nature and youth are the extraordinary tools needed for Africa. Africa, Africa has, Africa has, um, Africa has 60 percent, 60 percent of. Uh, Okay, as I said, uh, my name is uh, Mamad Janjalo, CEO and founder of Jalo Trading Vegetable Farm. I came from southern part of the Gambia. I'm a rural horticulturist. Our purpose to solve Africa's food insecurity problem through producing organic fruit and vegetables through youth manpower. Why that purpose? Nature and youth are the extraordinary tools needed. Africa has 65% of the agricultural land. The, uh, agricultural land for to the through the whole world. And second is Africa Africa is the highest number of youth youth population. So looking at the nature and the tools, but the nature the nature is the land and the tools is the youth. My story I gained the entrepreneurship entrepreneurship and holiday through my through my both of my parents were farmers. So when I graduated in 2016, it was hard for me to go to the university due to my parents could not have the means to support me. So I decided to join them to the farm. Oh, okay. This business started with $200, $100 from my savings and $100 from my father's uh, support. And they provided a land, a two and a half hectare of lands to support my business. In, in 2018, a university dropped out this is my one of my biggest uh, scenario ever. You know, I was working in my farm. A snake, a snake just spread on me and my and my employees. So I end up losing visual problem. I have a visual problem. This forced me to go out from school, from the university. Sorry, judges. Despite the challenges, I keep working hard to make sure that I succeed and so that food insecurity and I can able to feed my community. Problem facing the agricultural sector in the Gambia. The poverty rate stagnant at 48%. 42% rate of unemployment. 60% of the Gambian population are youth and 42% are unemployed. Rising food insecurity is rising over the past five years from five to 8%. 85% of importation of vegetables and, and fruits are weak. They use chemical on it. So despite this, uh, uh, despite this, I suggested that to, on, to my own company that we can able to change this system through making some deliberate decisions and proper management. What Jalo Trading does to solve this problem? Produce organic fruit and vegetable, then sell it to agriculture merchants, market vendors, restaurants and lumos. Create decent jobs for young Gambians. Our product, high level of nutrients and protein. Jalo Trading organically grown fruits and vegetables which include the following, as you can see. Our marketing strategy, we produce affordable, affordable fruits and, and vegetables around the year using organic chemicals without using any uh, chemical pesticide. We sell our product, we produce from 500 to 1,000 weekly, different varieties of product. Provide enterpri enterprise managerial support through our training and through training and consultation access to social uh, development. We know that our customers are selling our product. We should give back to them through what? Giving them enterprise managerial support and consultation of access to social development form. This is a social development form for young, enterpri young enterprise in the Gambia. So they did not, these people are illiterate, so we make sure that they have the basic needs that should be able to gain access of these funds. Financial focus. Financial figures and focus. 
if you can see, in 20, 2017 and 2018, December, we were able to uh, uh, generate a revenue of 6,326.45 and a profit of $4,217.63. Of profit, our expected expected revenue for 2019 and 2020 will be $8,326.45, and our profit expected profit will be $6,217.63. Social impact: employ 10 full-time and five part-time young Gambians between the age category 15 to 24, because these are the highest unemployed rate in the Gambia. Train 100 women from agri agricultural startup. We train women during the mango ripening season in the Gambia. We, they find it difficult to, to sell their mangoes because everywhere is, ripen, uh, everywhere is rooted with mangoes. So we provide them with the skills, with the skills to, to make some mango jams, and they can able to sell it. This is true giving back to the community. Environmental impact. Planted more than 1,000 fruit trees, three hands, and being active on global warming, reducing the energy. We have planted more than one fruit tree, and we have orchards. If I could able to show you the, the video, which is not here. My team, those are my sales and marketing, the lady around there, sales and marketing uh, officer. This is the executive uh, team, executive marketing executive team, and this is the farm manager, Lama Bari. How ANSI Surprise will help us? Make us a part of diverse Pan-African network. This means that we can able, through the ANSI Surprise, we can able to network with other, other, uh, other investors who can help us to 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 upscale our our venture thank you judges i would love to hear your questions